Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Greg's Shop. Uh, you guys have all seen me use this drill press many times in, in my videos, and um, I recently just had an is issue with it. It's uh, not a major issue, but the crank handle that raises and lowers the, the table here um, is made of plastic, and it has split. So I'm going to bring you in close up on this and show you uh, what's going on with it and how we're going to deal with it. So I have the handle off, and as you can see, this is plastic, and it's cracked right where the the screw set screw goes through. And if you put any torque on this, it's just going to spin off, rotate off, and and break both here and here. So take this off, get to it, you can see the threaded insert, there's a threaded sleeve on this side and a threaded insert on this side. So the part is basically no good. Now this part is available online at both eBay and you know wherever other, other, other parts places like Sears for a pretty broad range of uh, cost, you know, between ba basically 13, 14 bucks plus shipping to, I've seen $40. So, I want to go ahead and make a part out of, out of steel that's similar to this that will serve the same function. And uh, I'm going to take you through that and uh, show you how I did it. Well, there it is. That's what I'm going to use to replicate this part here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this nut or this nut. They're both the same diameter internally, but externally they're a little bit different. So I, I may use this one, although I'm, I'm going to have to grind off the anodizing because I'm going to weld it, and I don't want to be dealing with the I don't want to be dealing with the uh, odor that comes off that. Um, this will fit in here, no problem. Actually, I had to. These threads were funny because I had to re, I had to re reform these threads. They were some weird pattern. As you can, it's it's funny the way it looks. I, I don't know I don't know what they did, but it it's not metric and it's and it's not standard. But I made it into a standard thread, and now I can get a regular nut on there. So I'm going to use this bar. This is just three sixteenths. I'm sorry, not three sixteenths. This is just um, three eighths. So we're going to cut this, bend this, weld this to these nuts, and I'll take you through the process. No thanks to an improperly adjusted torch. Um, I got the metal bent. I was trying to kind of maybe match this as much as possible. So now I just got to trim off that piece and make it square and perpendicular to the bar and then I can cut it for length.
So one of the reasons that I um, choose to do some of these things for myself is because most of the time, you know, you, what you want is not commercially available or it costs way too much. And in this particular case here, uh, this, this bracket that I made out of wood, painted it, the DeWalt colors, put some stickers on it, looks just like a DeWalt product. Um, this just wasn't available anywhere on DeWalt's website. I mean, I couldn't find anything to put my hedge trimmer in. This is built specifically for this, and um, it works perfect, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So, you know, that's pretty much why I do what I do, and I hope I hope that I've inspired you guys to get out there and do stuff for yourself. So let's get back to the build and um, get that drill press fixed. All right, guys, that wraps this one up. I think it was a pretty good uh, project. And uh, this is obviously, this is not a beginner's type project, but if you have any, I guess, uh, if you have any metalworking experience, this is not going to be too terribly difficult. Um, some of the tools that I needed were, you know, a drill and tap. And a welder, of course. You need a oxyacetylene torch, or you can probably use a map gas torch to heat this metal up and bend it. I probably didn't have to bend this, but I was trying to go for the same shape as what was on there. And uh, so I probably could have just went with a straight bar and two nuts. But um, you know, when you when you do these things, um, you don't always necessarily have to go that extra step but it helps to to sort of refine your skills uh, if you continuously challenge yourself and uh, you, you you never know what you can do um, until you do it so that's pretty much what I do it, it somewhat seems like overkill at times but um, hey if you're not gonna overdo it you might as well not do it at all because if Craftsman overdid it, I would have never had to fix this. I just wanted to add one more thing. This project it basically cost me nothing. I didn't spend any money really to um, for the materials for this. Uh, the, the things that I bought, like the drill bit and the metric tap, I mean that's just the cost of doing business. I'm, I, I, 
buy those things and I'll use them later on for another project. But um, for the most part, I had the two nuts that I used for one end, I had those, and the bigger 5 8 inch nut, I had a bunch of those too. And the only thing that I had purchased was for the fire pit stoker, was the, uh, the, uh, the, the steel square bar. And that was what was left over from that. So for the most part, I think I've got maybe, a, if you wanted to quantify it, I got a dollar in this project. And I looked online, I found a cast steel um, crank handle for $40 and the, the plastic, um, I guess it's the OEM version of it, is $15 plus another $4 shipping. So 20 bucks, you know, 19, 20 bucks, $40 free. And it did take me about two hours of my time, but I enjoy doing it anyway, so I got the satisfaction of building something that's it's not going to break this time. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you on the next video. See you. All right, I'm going to stop for a second here and talk about these two things. Erwin has been making drill bits for 100 years. And Milwaukee. Okay, nice plastic case. Probably not going to use it, but anyway. Amazon.com. Delivered in two days. Home Depot. Fight the traffic. The Christmas time traffic. And. Drive over there and back. So. A couple of bucks in gas. Whatever. Sixteen dollars. Seven dollars. It's a no-brainer. No wonder these stores are going out of business. Well, not Home Depot, but you get the point. It's, it's ridiculous. That's how much they're ripping you off when you go to these places. So if you can wait, I mean, virtually this is the same. If this is the same bit. Anyway, let's get back to the project.